Hi kids, do you like violence? Welcome back to Armor Combat America. All right, uh, this subject I'm going over, uh, this is my third take. I usually do a take in one and call it good because if I fuck up, I don't care if I'm rambling too much. So this is all about the Simon strap, which that's what this is. This goes on my back. This holds my helmet down. This right here is mandatory if you're gonna be fighting in the United States because Simon Rorich, one of my buddies, uh, got whacked in the head because his fucking helmet came off. And he, uh, you've, my TikTok even had him, you know, trying to show off his, uh, his Bobo. Uh, he'll let anybody reach in there and feel it. Uh, Simon is a odd duck as far as normal people go. Like, he doesn't take damage like other people. When I get hit, I get pissed off. Like, I don't have a, I've never been hit hard enough to be seated. It might happen one day. I don't know. But, like, when I get hit, I get fucking mad. Simon just doesn't acknowledge it pain wise because he's just, his pain receptors are broken. <laughs> but uh like it's just who he is uh but he's smart he won't let somebody's balls ass hit him because he knows his body's taking damage he's very intelligent he's one of the smartest he might be the smartest fighter i've met in the league as far as just an intelligent fucking guy uh but his helmet came off wham took an axe to the head he bought the fucking axe head from the guy <laughs> and uh walked to the fucking stretcher you know i got his shit taken care of you know think thankfully he's still alive and okay but because that's called a Simon strap. If anybody's strapped in the front, it's called an Arlen strap. I don't know that story. I don't know who the fuck Arlen is. Uh, so Simon strap keeps that on. Chin strap keeps your helmet up. Downside is uh, your helmet, you, your head, if your Simon strap is too loose, you can move your head more, which is a good thing to be able to look down, right? Well, then someone can, you know, bust you in the back of the head or pull you down. Or your neck muscles are having to pull it back. You can kind of cheat. Set it up so your helmet, bang, bang, hits that, that stopping point. And me, I set mine so when I, I set it up, I pull it, so it pulls my helmet up a little bit. It's away from my chin. I get hit in the face, my helmet's not going to bit me in the chin and, and cause a damage, you know, split me open or any of that shit. Never had that happen because I, I make sure that's that way. Try to make sure the helmet's situated so that can't happen. So you have to think about these things. If your helmet's, if your Simon strap's too loose, you can move your head a lot, but then, you know, if your buckle's not right, it, it can come undone. And then we're going to talk about here. See, this is my new chest piece. I'm going to make uh, another video about that later. Look how shiny that shit is. You see how ugly I am even through that reflection. Uh, this is your agnostic piece. If you want to ask, I'll make a video about this later. So this right here, uh, this rivet to here is like three inches. It's another inch. So it's like four inches here. This is on my particular chest piece. Every single fucking chest piece you do in helmet combo is going to be different, probably. Unless it's like two of the same ones. Doubt it. Um, problem is, I went to a big 10 minute spill about all this other shit to get to the point that when I went to Utah a few months ago, went out there, uh, we won, uh, my region won the. Uh, the battle for the grill uh it was great we showed up murked out uh, together picked up logan balliger and went out there and had fun first time to fight with logan instead of against him uh love the dude to death we get along very well we click uh we all had fun but uh one of the second to last round maybe anyway i uh, can't remember the dude's name feel like a dick their team captain's name is o2 is what they call him cool fucking guy like i loved it up there this dude has this beautiful salad can't remember his name. Always give him shit about pretty boy stuff and how hot he looks. Just joking around because like he's he was like wearing the glasses, not in armor. All the chicks were around him because he's like young movie star looking kind of guy. Yeah, he's, he's he's a handsome fella and his his salad's beautiful. Salad, salad, however you say it. I don't give a shit. Uh, but the back came to this point, and the problem with that that point was, and there's no no add and tell. I kept riding my axe over his shoulders. And he's trying to escape out of it. So what happened? My axe is pulling down up underneath this fucking point. And I know that's against the rules. You're not supposed to get under someone's helmet. So it's a double-edged sword. I could have just ripped his ass to the ground. The refs might not have seen it, but I follow the rules. So uh, his problem is he had his fucking, you know, I think this was mounted further down. And the strap's open. So at one point I had him bent over, trying to get him to the ground and, and take control. Majority of my mindset's like trying to stay out from under this dude's fucking helmet. Cause it's just got this long point and there's just, it's almost impossible. Logan comes over whacking this dude in the back. He's fucking busting this dude in the back. And lo and behold, we didn't know, you know, it's the middle of the, in the, middle of, uh, the fight. He uh, spins out or whatever, runs away. I run after him again, slam him into the list, pulling back down again. And my whole time I'm focusing on getting on his fucking shoulders, not this goddamn helmet. It's pretty as it is beautiful fucking helmet. Finally pulls back and like it, I end up under his fucking helmet. What happens? The Simon strap was damaged from Logan it pops off his head. Bam. Dude rolls out a list. Like I look at the reps. I'm like, we good. 
And nobody says nothing, so bam, I run over there, start beating O2 in the back, and then ref seats me after the fact, because Jacob Omer, you know, love him to death. He's a cool guy. He's got a badass samurai kit. Uh, he's, he's like, pointing to refs, you know, <laughs> giving me shit. He wants to win, <laughs> which, you know, they didn't, because, like, we're, you know, we, we brought gold medalists and people that are experienced where they had some new guys, and a lot of them hadn't uh, been there and done that yet like we have. So we, we had him beat an experience. But he wanted to win, so he's like in the, the rest here. Oh, he pulled his helmet off, which I didn't intentionally. So technically, I don't think I should have been seated. If I did, I didn't give a shit. I took my knee like a good boy because I don't want to get in trouble. But shit happens like that. Moral of the story is don't mount this fucking thing way the fuck down here because you think it's a good idea because you're going to have it exposed. If you had an Aventel, a long Aventel or something, probably would have been fine. That particular helmet did not. So you don't want to be too high because you run out of real estate to even be able to tighten it. You run too fucking low and it's exposed. So it's a fine balance. Mine, uh, every kit's different. So far, mine on average, usually this right here uh, is mounted like the first rivets about three inches, four inches to the second. There's a D ring comes on this, and I gotta find it. There it is. Uh, this is what I get. I got found a deal on these. These are usually like, I don't know, 10 bucks maybe. Uh, I got one to sell for $249, so I bought every one of them because I've got like five sets of armor seven helmets so i needed as many buckles and all that shit because when we buy helmets usually they don't have a simon strap some do some don't you can request them if you're not i don't give a shit because i like to add it because it's it comes with this it's that thick you know it's nice it's got holes in it already plus the excess i'll cut off and use that for other shit for repairs whatever uh this this is tooling leather so this is probably gonna taste salty but that lick it see a uh, difference in color called vegetable tan so you can actually get it wet you can inscribe stuff uh it's called tooling leather veg tan so i do leather when i feel like it uh that's my wallet it's all tooled this will actually accept tooling if you want to make it pretty nobody's gonna fucking see it but you but if you're ocd and want your little special thing your name whatever you can do it i suggest these because it comes with this healthy ass buckle it's nice it's chrome it's not gonna rust it's got a nice heavy duty roller here it's not a Thin piece of shit roller. Uh, it's it's good. I'll say uh, it does have a D-ring you can put in the middle. But since it comes through here and then here anyway, I don't care about the D-ring. I think I've added them on some just because I had it. And then you can see this one. Oh, God damn, really? All right. Low power mode. I'm going to screw up my shit. So this one, this added the D-ring for no reason. But it's out of my light. This, you can see it's bent. Why is it bent? I have no idea. Because the purpose of this doesn't do anything but hold that down. So something must have got underneath there. Anyway, it's still doing its job. I don't give a shit. Must have like this is probably from like sliding down the list. I don't bet this is from my back. Sliding down the list and catching on that. So it's it's holding together pretty well. Cause I'm like 400 pounds in armor with my current kit. So make sure if you're gonna get your shit and do it yourself and I have an armor do it. I'm lucky I have a uh, John. John Reuters down here. Uh he's our armorer. Love him to death. He takes care of our teammates. Whoever your guy is, make sure your end kit when they measure these things. Uh, mount the strap to the helmet. Make sure it's in. Put the helmet on with the chest piece and your gamison so you know everything's at. It's going to fit right. And have them figure out where you can kind of get in that middle adjustment with you standing straight. You know, head straight, not here, here. Head straight, and then they can put your holes in it if uh, they need to adjust anything. But if you can mount that to where this is the middle, you're fine. And then you have more adjustment. You can add more holes. Do whatever you got to do. But it keeps the fucking helmet on. And it does it right. You don't want that thing exposed. Being able to get chopped real easy. Uh, you won't want something to fall off. Have a couple teammates. Their helmets fly off all the time. They always say their Simon strap broke. I've never broken a fucking Simon strap one fucking time. Uh, and I've kind of got a lot of them. On several helmets. And I fight as much as I can usually. So I don't relate. They're using a piece of shit. And uh, you know who you are. Uh, so that's the talk of that. Why I suggest doing it the way you do it. I'm no pro. I've only been doing this like two years. I'm not like like Simon and uh, Bam and some of these other guys that have like wrote the book on this fucking sport. But it's a subject that people want to ask about and want details. So I'm like, you know what? I'll make some content on this since I'm modifying new armor right now to get this ready to use. And so be it. So any questions, concerns, comments, I'd happily answer for you. Uh, I love this sport, love it growing, love being a part of it, love promoting it. Uh, so yeah, like I say, quality shit, keep your fucking head safe.